If you had mathematics in high school, you have probably learned what a histogram is. In this video, we're going to talk about what a histogram is, how to read it, and why it is so important to use it in photography and videography. Before we start, I want to point out two things. First, this video is going to be very basic. I want to keep things quick and easy to understand. So I'm just going to talk about what a histogram is and how you can read it so that you can read it on the back of your camera or so that you can read it in post. Histograms are a little bit more complex and if you're interested in that, I recommend leaving a comment and let me know that you're interested in that so I can do a follow-up video. And the second thing that I wanted to point out is that I will be referring to photos in this video. That doesn't mean that it cannot be used for videos or videography because it can. However, it can be a little bit more complex if you're changing lighting or you're moving from a dark to a lighter angle and the histogram changes. So to keep things simple and easy to understand, I'm referring to photos. And as you know, a second of video is a certain number of frames per second. So basically a bunch of photos in a second. But for the sake of this video, it's gonna be photos. So now that I clarified all that, let's dive in. Let's start with the basics. A photo consists of little square boxes called pixels and there is millions of them with different colors and different lighting. A histogram is a graph that helps you determine whether your photo is exposed properly. Basically, to check whether your photo isn't too bright or too dark. A histogram is really important to turn on to make sure that it is not overexposed or underexposed and risk that you cannot really fix this in post. A histogram is a graph and that means that there is a horizontal line and a vertical line. The horizontal line ranges from the darkest pixels to the brightest pixels and the vertical line is relative. There aren't really any numbers, but if there is a spike right here, that means that there are a lot of dark pixels in that photo. Most histograms that you will see will look a little like this like a mountain landscape. The reason why is that in most photos there isn't a lot of white and there isn't a lot of black. So usually there is a bunch of gray, <laughs> kind of like in the gray area, a little bit of everything. So that is why it looks like that. However, when it comes to histograms, there is no right or wrong histogram. It all depends on the colors in the photo and the level of exposure. When there is a spike in your photo, that means that there is a lot of pixels of that level of brightness in your photo. So basically, a spike on the left means that there are a lot of dark pixels in your photo and a spike on the right means that there are a lot of light pixels in your photo. So there can be spikes in your histogram, but there can also be flat lines. And that means that there is an absence. So if there is a flat line on this side, that means that there are no dark pixels or barely any dark pixels, which means that your photo is overexposed because there's a lot of lighter pixels. But then it can also happen that there is a flat line on the other side, which means that there are no bright pixels or barely any bright pixels, which means that your photo is probably underexposed. Now, don't freak out if you see a spike or anything. Always refer back to your photo, because if you take a photo against a dark wall, or if I take a photo of my background, there is going to be a lot of dark information. So there's probably going to be a lot of stuff going on here and little going on right here. And the same goes if you're in Canada in the winter, in the snow, you're taking a photo of the snow, there's going to be a lot of information here and probably not that much information right here. So always refer back to your photo before freaking out, don't panic. And if it turns out that your photo is under or overexposed, that is why editing programs like Lightroom are developed to kind of tweak it to make it look better. And if you cannot save it, well, that's when you know that you cannot rely on the screen of your camera and you have to turn on your histogram next time. I hope that it all makes sense now. And I hope that now you understand what that weird intimidating graph on your camera is doing and how you can read it, not be intimidated by it anymore and just use it and take better pictures next time. Now, my question to you, pizza or Chinese? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and hit that bell if you wanna if you wanna be notified. And I'll see you next time. I guess I'm gonna go for maybe I'm gonna go maybe I'm gonna go for ooh, Mexican. I'm gonna go for Mexican.